down here in the K-Wings locker room with head coach Nick Bootlin after a 4-1 win over the Toledo Walleye. Coach, uh, just go over your team's performance tonight. It looked like they came out, they, they did what they needed to do to get the win, and, and congratulations to Oscar Dance gets his first win as a K-Wing. Yeah, that's one of the reasons we put him in, we started him tonight. We wanted to start him tonight. We wanted to start him when um, we felt there was a push. We felt that we had to respond to the last two games we played against Toledo, and you could say that they probably came in with a little bit of a letdown, considering they beat us 11-5 in the last two games of the combined score so you know I don't think they were prepared to come in and, and, and play the way they were those last two times they were here and then at the same time we wanted to try to send a message um, and respond by playing back-to-back -back games well and we did that here tonight. Just jumping ahead to tomorrow for a quick second any thought about the goaltending situation for tomorrow's game? Yeah Joe Martin and I talked uh, early this morning and the plan was to give Dance Day and Marty wants one more so Joe Martin um, is going to get the start if Joe Martin wants to play um, and he wants to stay sharp then he's going to get that game for sure. Going back to tonight's game, it's fan appreciation night. It's the final game of the home game of the regular season. A huge celebration, obviously the player awards after the game. Just a, a great atmosphere all around for everybody here. Yeah, I felt that uh, you know it, it's always a fun night to be part of. You know, the fans came out and supported us um, well all season long, and to sort of uh, give back a little bit. I know they gave some posters away and some freebies away all night long, and it, it was a lot of fun to see that. And uh, it seemed like the crowd was into the game, and then we go out and uh, execute the win at the same time. And then you see the awards. Other than um, having to listen to Mike Maduno talk so long, it was a perfect evening. You mentioned Toledo coming in here and having a bit of a letdown. How do you guys avoid having the same problem tomorrow as you head to the Huntington Center? Yeah, I mean, obviously it, it, it's tough to stay focused, you know, at this point. Um, you know, everybody's kind of thinking ahead, but you can't. Um, you know, we want to play the game the right way. It's not a switch. You don't get to get to playoff time and decide to turn a switch and, and just play well. Um, you have to build towards that, and I felt like we've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. Finally, just a quick little preview. You, you get a little bit of time off, not until next Friday, until you play game one against Fort Wayne. How can you utilize that time to give your team, I guess I want to say a refresher maybe? Yeah, absolutely. First, we'll get some rest. Um, we need some rest at, at four and five the last uh, stretch. And uh, with some travel to start, um, we're going to be pretty tired. Um, but at the same time, you're going to go over things. You're, you're going to touch base on probably everything you can systematically. Uh, you're going to cram that all into three days of practice to make sure that we're prepared for those uh, the Fort Wayne comments. And, you know, obviously it's going to be a battle. We have a lot of respect for their organization. We have a lot of respect for uh, the team they're going to have. They're also going to have some help from the American Hockey League, I would imagine. Uh, with uh, the Colorado Avalanche not making the playoffs and then Lake Erie not making the playoffs. So I'd imagine they're going to get up to three, maybe even four players um, assigned down to them that were out with, with them throughout the season. So, you know, we're going to see what their roster looks like. The, obviously, those numbers and, and names have to go in uh, Monday to the league, probably announced Tuesday um, as a league. And, uh, you know, we'll do our homework and, and be prepared as we can be for a battle against Fort Wayne. As we mentioned, the K-Wings will finish the regular season tomorrow at the Huntington Center in Toledo. We'll talk to you then. Thanks a lot.